This is alternative political analysis and this video will be on the case of the Craig Adam 2 and the Craig Adam 2 are two scapegoats who have been interned and blamed for killing Constable Stephen Carroll of the Royal Ulster Constabulary and this case is supported by the late Jerry Conlon of Guildford 4 fame and is a main character portrayed in the film In the Name of the Father by Daniel Day Lewis and Jerry Carroll of People Before Profit compared the case to the Netflix series Making a Murderer and Tory MP Chris Grayling also supports their demands for justice and I will now give you some of the case facts. Witness M phoned the RUC a year after Stephen Carroll was killed intoxicated with alcohol in the early hours of the morning because that's when you're going to recall a story accurately when you're intoxicated in the early hours of the morning and witness M's testimony was medically impossible the man needs glasses according to his optician and doctor yet he, he can see great details from over 200 yards no of course not it's bovine excrement and his version of events were uncorroborated that means there was no way no one confirmed or verified his story so for all we know it, it is complete bovine excrement and witness M's family describe him as a Walter Mitty fantasist in other words he has a reputation for making stuff up and other relevant case facts are that Witness M got £50,000 from Rupert Murdoch's newspaper, The Sun. Seems a little suspicious. He also received payments, holidays and loans from the RUC. Now, if that doesn't arouse suspicion of corruption, then nothing will. Also, Military Intelligence Section 5 deleted data from the time of Stephen, the killing of Stephen Carroll on a British Army tracking device on John Paul Wooten's car. And I should mention that John Paul Wooten is the young man on the left and that Brendan McConville is the man on the right and they are the two scapegoats who have been unjustly interned and blamed for the offence caused and it's just not right and contradictory and inconsistent forensic evidence on the weapon and there was no li evidence linked to either John Paul Wooten or Brendan McConville yet th their families and themselves have had to suffer this and the United Nations had to be lobbied to protect the legal defence teams after direct 
physical intimidation from the RUC. Now, why would the RUC be physically intimidating their defence teams if they were guilty and they had evidence that they were guilty? There's a reason they were doing this. And that, sh that just shows you that they and their families have been put through all of this suffering for no good reason. And they are not the only ones. According to the End Interment Campaign, there are over 50 Republicans incarcerated in Ireland for their just and moral political beliefs and quite frankly it's a disgrace and a shame that the world and the international community allow this to happen and I would recommend that viewers check out not only alternative political analysis but the Justice for the Craig Alvin 2 website which you can clearly see below the pictures of John Paul and Brendan there 